Hello YouTube pilot friends and welcome to this video on using an aviation fuel tester. You can see I have my Jepson fuel tester here which I'm assembling. It's got a handle on the side, you can also take the handle off, pop it on the top and use it as a splash guard. Additionally, down the middle it's got a nice solid brass rod and at the bottom it has a screwdriver, Phillips head or flat, bra flat bladed. You can use either. So. When you go out to the aircraft and after you've had any kind of refueling, it's really important you take a fuel sample. Very simple thing to do and your instructor will show you how if you don't know. You just push the rod into the hole or use the actuator on the end, the, the holes in the end of the tester to use the petcock sampler and drain off a sample of the fuel. The reason we do that is to make sure that there aren't any contaminants. Uh, they could come from leaving the aircraft overnight, maybe there's water. Maybe the fuel truck or maybe even the uh, tank in which the fuel is stored could have contaminated your fuel and that's not good news. So here's uh, me and I'm taking a sample of the fuel. It's actually from a jerry can and it's motor fuel, it's normal petrol, not aviation fuel. The difference being um, this isn't as highly controlled, it's also straw in colour rather than the blue that you would see in aviation 100 low lead. So I'm having a quick smell. It smells of fuel. It looks like fuel. And I'm just checking to see if there's anything in there. It looks clear. But remember, specific gravity of water is 1. Av gas is less at 0.72. So here's some water going in. Now can you see straight away, they split. It's really quick. And here it is in slow motion. In goes the water. It bubbles up. And a lot of people think that if there's water in the fuel, it might take half an hour or so to get to the bottom of the tank. But look how quickly that water falls to the bottom of that fuel sample. The fuel's on the top, the water's on the bottom. And here we are again in real time. In it goes. And done. I mean, that's a couple of seconds, isn't it? Now, what about if you draw a sample and you're not sure? Maybe it's all water. Ooh. Well... Here's one method of testing it. Will it? Ah, oh, it looks like it's water. Now, of course, I'm joking. This isn't really what you'd do. If you went to the airport and tried to set your fuel sample on fire at uh, Heathrow, I reckon Special Branch would be onto you pretty quickly. So. So probably not the way to do it. Here we go, testing off um, another sample, and of course, oh my gosh, that one's fuel. Now there is actually something you can do if you're not sure. First of all, have a smell of the fuel. Does it smell like fuel? If it doesn't, that's a good hint. Have a look at it carefully. Is it blue? Or is it the right colour for what you're expecting? If not, then you need to do something. And what I suggest you do is put some water in there. You could to be crude, spit in it actually, and if it falls to the bottom as a globule, it's water. If not, you're okay, it's fuel. Well, thanks for listening, see you next time.